Well, I thought I'd uh, go ahead and just uh, do some videos about the new video clips. They were just taken down off of YouTube, but they're still on uh, Vimeo, so I'm, I was looking at them there. Um, well, first, starting off with the first clip, it's uh, obviously still condensed. It has uh, some of the same trailer music that we saw. Um, it seems that, uh, well, first of all, I mean, there's certain things we could talk about. Uh, first of all, the acting. Acting looks great, um, especially of note, uh, I love Eustace. I think that uh, it's, I mean, he really acts uh, pretty similar to how I imagine him. One thing I noticed throughout the uh, uh, clips is um, how um, we've got uh, Will Poulter doing different kind of different voices. He he changes his voice a little bit. Uh which I think is kind of interesting, kind of interesting touch, something I wouldn't have probably thought about. But he seems much more uptight, much more uh um uh just a little more tense when he's the uh bitter uh Eustace. And I think uh, you know obviously the dialogue listening to it, it's um you know, pretty similar to the book, pretty much in keeping with the book. Seems like they're going to do a good job there. Again, the scene is pretty condensed. There's not really a lot I can talk about as far as the narrative of the scene. One thing that I thought was really interesting that I didn't catch the first time I watched it was that Eustace refers to, in the poem, uh, he refers to Lucy and Edmund as orphans. Which jumped out at me the second time uh, I watched it, and I just thought, it just seems so odd. Why would he say they were orphans when, in the books, they're not orphans at any point? Uh, the parents are killed in the same train that they're killed in the last battle. Sorry if I ruined it, but um, I'm just thinking, wait a minute, the, what are they changing? Because we know that we they're, uh, they seem to be changing. Uh, it seems like they might we might get the feeling that at least I get the feeling that uh, they're you know they have Edmund trying to enlist, so maybe Peter's fighting, and so that's already one change because he's not at university, uh, preparing for exams like he was in the books. But I'm going oh whoa 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 I wonder what they're changing. It, this really jumped out, and I I don't really know what to think of it. Uh, initially, of course, I'm really I'm pretty opposed to it just because me being kind of the purist I am. I'm interested to know what direction they're trying to take this though because I'm. I'm wondering, okay, what are they trying to accomplish with this? Is this there's always some kind of uh, reason for why they're going one way or the other, whether it be a good or a bad reason, but I'm wondering what they're doing there. That's really the first thing of, of note. It's possible that they're trying to throw more at the Pevensies with them gr having to grow up, um, uh, kind of uh, emphasizing in a way how... They are growing up. They are being forced to take on more responsibility. They have to. Uh, they're more outside their comfort zone, obviously, with their parents dead. Again, assuming that they are uh, uh, gone. And I'm gonna actually. I, I'm kind of walking forward from this point, assuming that their parents might be dead. Um, that's the only way I can really uh, think of it right now. So that's my primary assumption. Here, I mean, it could be that Eustace is just spitballing, but I'm going to assume from this point until I hear otherwise that the, uh, their parents are have been killed in some way, uh, that that's the direction they've decided to take it. So, again, um, they're probably just trying to inc increase their feelings of, you know, uh, <clears throat> separation from family, separation from Aslan and Narnia, separation from anything home-related to make them grow up quicker. So, which in an interesting sense um, kind of prevents them from move, growing up because then all of a sudden the, the Pevensies, the four Pevensies, uh, and the, I'm just kind of psychoanalyzing here, but with their parents being dead, they would become a little closer. Uh, just a little more tight-knit, which makes me wonder, again, what's going on with Peter and Susan coming in. Uh, I think the interview said for a couple days... Um, so anyway, that's the most interesting thing, a single interesting thing about this clip. Um, again, uh, we got to see a little more of the uh, ship move movement. Uh, I like how they're doing it. I mean, it's, not, it's always one of those things that's going to be, I think, a little better than 
uh, when you imagine it. But I, I, you know, again, I like how they're doing the uh, water spilling in and the the uh, world around them kind of becoming uh, Narnia, uh, which is as opposed to this frame getting bigger and bigger and swallowing them up. You have the water pouring in and you know, ter- basically becoming the ocean, which I do like. I think that's one thing I actually prefer uh, rather than them um, enlarging the frame. So, um, really f- fun clip. Uh, looks like it's gonna that part of the movie is gonna be pretty good. It's interesting how they kind of allude to Eustace. It's like he's reading some kind of fairy tales, um, and then hides them because he doesn't want them to uh, know what he's reading, and that he does have an interest in fairy tale uh, stories and fantasy, but has it goes through a bit of self hatred. Doesn't really like to admit that he does like it, which is an interesting take. It's certainly not the case in the books, and. Um, Again, it's kind of. I have to. I think I don't really uh, prefer that. I think it seems it makes it might make the genuine the, the conversion a little less genuine. I think I would prefer for him to show a little more mm, genuine hostility to that sort of thing. But uh, other than those subtle little cues, again, Eustace reading a fantasy novel or a short story. Um, and which it seems to be, I kind of get that vibe. And then the orphan line, which kind of came out of nowhere, I wasn't expecting that at all. Um, uh, it's a pretty good clip. Uh, a couple of little elements. One actually a fairly significant element that could change the, why the characters are developing the way they are. So, uh, well, I guess we'll see how that pans out in the uh, film. So, uh, this is number 24. And until next time, this is Relian signing off.